Can an XT piston save an XTR lever? Let's find out. Hey folks, we're back with a follow-up video. So a few months back I had released a video on an M9100 brake bleed and I had discovered that the piston on that brake, on the lever, had literally cracked in half where the lever axle pushes onto the piston. So oil was leaking out. So I found out that my buddy on that bike had taken a wipeout at the end of last year and he didn't realize that it was broken to that extent, right? So at the time he ended up buying a new lever because Shimano and all their wisdom, they don't sell parts to most of their brake models, right? So what I had found was an aftermarket metal piston for Shimano brakes, but these are targeted for M8100 and M8000s, not 9100 or 9000s. So the big question is, uh, well, will it work, right? So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna just show you guys how to replace the, well, put in the piston and put the lever together. And then I'm gonna bleed the brake. I won't show that because I've already showed a brake bleed video on XTRs on this particular uh, model. And then after the bleed, I'll go for a ride and I'll let you guys know whether this thing worked or not. All right. So next up, let me just show you the tools needed in order to install a new piston in an M9000 brake. Not many tools needed at all in order to get this job done. Two millimeter Allen key, pick and snap ring pliers. That's it. All right, let's get on to the job. So first things first, we have a rubber cover under the handle over here. We take this guy, put him on the side. Grab a two millimeter Allen, loosen the bolt inside, just enough where the pin pops out, okay? So the pin has a dimpled side that goes on top, press it from the bottom, the flat side, okay? So this is flat, put the pin on the side. Now, the lever will be loose, but it's held together by a retaining ring. That's where our retaining clip pliers come in, right? So there's two eyelets. Just put the retaining ring pliers on three eyelets, pop it up, just like that, and boom. Now I already have the metal piston inside, okay? I got rid of the plastic one. So, and that's it. Next, let me show you how to put it together. Before I show you how to put it together, let me answer a question as far as the bladder goes, okay? Because uh, I had seen a response to somebody's uh, comment that suggested that, somebody had mentioned that there are aftermarket syringes for Shimano brakes that you could buy, right? Which would allow you to bleed a Shimano brake just like a, a, a SRAM brake, right? I've never tried it. In fact, I never even knew they made aftermarket syringes for Shimano brakes. So, uh, but somebody had mentioned that if using a syringe, in a Shimano brake or with a Shimano lever that if you apply pressure downwards, you could damage the bladder. So to open up the bladder, just show you guys, there's a little screw on the inside over here. We take it out two millimeter again. Okay, right there. There we go, right? We don't have to take it out. We can loosen it, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like, right? And then we could pop out the bladder Try and get some leverage underneath it and it should just pop out, boom, just like that. So the bladder on the brake. Oil doesn't go inside this thing. This acts more like a diaphragm than an actual bladder, okay? So if you notice, at the end, we have the hole that goes into the cylinder, all right? So, uh, and then the cylinder bleeds into the hole that's at the end over here, okay? For added oil, essentially, and more importantly, for any air bubbles to escape, okay? And basically what the bladder does, where is it? There's a notch, so the bladder essentially uh, sits, where's the notch? The bladder sits, as you see, it's curved. The curve sits towards the top. Right, so if you inject oil, it would do nothing more than just push this down to the bottom of the master cylinder, basically. 
That's all it would do. I cannot see how that would do any damage considering this thing does not retain any oil inside it, right? So if you were to inject oil, right, in the bleed port with a syringe and put pressure downwards, it would do nothing but just land on top of this bladder over here. And this bladder would just fall perfectly shaped to the cylinder wall. That's all the bladder does. It creates an area for air to essentially get separated or keep or stay separated and trapped in order for it to not go into the actual brake line itself and the piston cylinder. Um, uh, well, in order not to have it in the system itself, right? So you don't get squishy brakes. Now that only works if the bike, if this is at the highest position, if you turn your bike upside down, then the air will creep out and go into the system, right? That's why you don't want to hang your bikes for too long. Air, any bubble will absolutely leave here and eventually make it into the actual brake system itself. All right. So hopefully that answers that question. So to close up the bladder, again, there is a notch over here and that notch goes onto that notch over there, right? So let's make sure we align it properly. There we go. And it should just fit in like a glove right there. Done. Okay. And we take our screw, two millimeter. And we, where is it? There it is. Bit of an angle over here. And we screw him in just like that, and he just does nothing more than keep him in place. All right, just like that, done. Now let's assemble the rest of the lever. Before we put the piston inside, we wanna coat the seals with some mineral oil. All right, just give it a little coating over here, nothing too crazy, right? Again, and we could also coat the, the, it's the nice thing about mineral oil, man, you don't have to worry about it, as opposed to dot fluid. All right, typically on a regular plastic piston, this would basically stick onto the tip over here, right? But with this metal one, it doesn't. So rounded part goes into the cylinder. Concave part of the dimple part over here sticks out, okay? Since we won't be able to put it in like this, we're gonna have to do our best to center that spring and then take the piston and put it in just like that. Press it down. There we go, done. It is working perfectly, all right. Next, we put on the lever. Okay, to put on the lever, we have to use the retaining clip, grab the eyelets, and basically st stuff him in here, right? So, let's position it correctly. So, logo up, upside down facing you. Lever handle pointing this way, right? So that's how it goes. Now, you could make your life easier by removing this mount, but, we should be good, we should be able to do it, right? So put the round part of the axle, the ball of the axle into the dimple, and then find the retaining clip holes, right? And position them towards the front, just like that. Grab your retaining clip plier, try and put it into the holes. You might have to press down, just like with your thumb here, right? Align it where you could put the retaining clip pliers Again, you can move this thing out of the way to make your life easier. All right, oops, did I have it? I had it and it just bounced out. All right, so again, position the eyeless towards the front. There we go. And then push down on the whole mechanism until it sinks into the cylinder and done. There we go, not going anywhere. All right, goes in, but doesn't go out. So next, this is the top. Dimpled part sticks on top. All right, grab our two millimeter, tighten down the screw on the inside. And then we put our rubber cover in. All right. Sink it in. There we go. And we are done. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is put it on one of my bikes and test it out and I will let you go, well, I'll bleed it and test it out and let you guys know how it goes after a ride. So, did it work or did it not work? And the answer is, it didn't work at all. In fact, I couldn't bleed the damn thing. It would only bleed one way. In other words, I could only suck down from the reservoir to the caliper, I could not 
push from the syringe and the caliper into the reservoir, which sort of makes sense. I figured out why. The pistons between the XT and XTR are really, really close in size, as you can see in that video uh, where I discovered that there was a cracked uh, piston inside this lever, right? I measured the stock piston with the aftermarket piston. And the difference being the seals, which are U-cup seals, the front seal blocks the port that goes from the piston cylinder into the master cylinder. So when I suck downwards, right? In other words, when I'm pulling from the syringe, trying to get oil to move down, since it's a U-cup, right? This is a wall, these are the U-cup walls. It'll push down on the outer part of the U-cup. So oil will pass through. But when pushing down on the, from the, the, the syringe in the caliper, pushing up into the reservoir, that U-cup wall now ksh, sticks to the wall, okay? To the cylinder wall and creates a, a, a tight seal. No oil is getting around that. Whereas when I replaced this with the original brake lever, it worked perfectly. I was able to bleed it within a snap. I cannot get the XT piston to work in an XTR brake, which absolutely sucks because that basically means this is essentially a paperweight until we need to use parts for some other lever that breaks maybe a handle or maybe pops a reservoir or cracks a reservoir, who knows what. There's not all that many parts that could be used anyway. I think it's BS that Shimano does not provide replacement parts for their brakes because I have had the worst luck with aftermarket uh, parts for Shimano brakes. I haven't found one that worked yet. If you guys know of a piston that works in XTR brakes, please let me know. I would love to uh, give it a shot. So basically I wasted my time figuring this one out so you wouldn't have to waste your time figuring it out, all right? With all that being said, if you like the video, please click the thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to see more videos. Click the bell button, bing, 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 to get notified when new videos get released, all right? Until then, hope all is well with everyone and we will be talking to you soon. Take care, have a good one, bye.